I'm Gary Woodruff and I'm growing manager here at Borden Hill Nurseries. 24 years ago, I started off in the industry, starting here as a trainee grower. I gradually worked my way up through the ranks, gaining more and more knowledge about the plants we grow. I attended various training courses, many which were done in-house, others were, were laid on and organised by the AHDB. These included study tours to foreign countries and also conferences in this country, often specialising in certain plants such as poinsettias and bedding plants, which is a big part of what we grow today. Here at our Stratford-upon-Avon nursery, we produce mainly seed-raised crops. These can be on a growing programme of anything from three weeks for a marigold seedling up to a year for some of our perennial and overwintered crops. These then go on to our customers, which include many private nurseries and garden centres, council co contractors, and also the mail order market, which is currently uh, booming. Here at Borden Hill Nurseries, we have approximately 100 permanent employees. During the busy seasons, we top up with many seasonal and agency staff. It can be quite challenging to recruit the right person who can pick up the job quite quickly after our extensive training programmes. We use automation here extensively at the nursery, right from the start of our process, such as our seed sowing machines. These can sow single seeds or many seeds in each cell. Later in the process, uh, we use gapping up machines. Now these can photograph and pinpoint any missing cells which have occurred during germination. The machines then remove the plug of compost and replace it with a living plant, thus ensuring that our customers get the consistency they require. We also use automation in our planting machines. Very often we will produce a, sm a small plug, such as this 350. This will then be potted on using the machine, which works very similar to the gapping machines, and places the plug into a bigger cell. Using technologies such as the 30 megahertz system, we are able to monitor exactly what is going on in the plant, thus eliminating any stresses which might be occurring. The system uses a series of probes and sensors to measure the leaf temperature and also the humidity. It works out the VPD, vapour pressure deficit of the plant. Using this information, we can adjust our environmental conditions within the greenhouse, thus eliminating any stresses which might be occurring. After purchasing technologies such as this, uh, the manufacturers very often provide training courses, online workshops and that sort of thing, which will enable us to get up to speed with how to effectively use the equipment. We're also in contact with other nurseries who use similar technology and we were able to compare notes and also swap data, which can be very useful. Several years ago, we installed two biomass boilers here on site. Previously, we had been heating the nursery with fossil fuels, such as coal and gas. Now we are switching to more renewable sources of energy. Government grants and incentives make this a economical way of heating the nursery. I found a career in horticulture to be very enjoyable and rewarding. There are many opportunities in horticulture for you, such as apprenticeships, and various training courses and I hope you find the rest of the day very enjoyable.